Hi everyone. As usual, it's been quite a while between my last videos and I'm not going to pretend it's because I've been anything other than just super busy and for that I am sorry and I will try harder next time. I have this on my to-do list to make a video every few days and I keep moving it from day to day because it's it's quite honestly sometimes really overwhelming um, and at the moment I'm just a little bit stuck for what to talk about um, in a short topic I can talk you know I could probably talk for half an hour on some topics but it's just finding something that I could do in five minutes five or six minutes that is a little bit tricky um, so because I know you know sometimes I'm a bit fatigued and I want to listen to someone ramble on for half an hour on something so that's what my website is going to be for writing articles that are a little bit more in depth on how to's and coping with with life in a little bit more detail so this kind of that but I went to try and uh, update my website a few weeks ago and I've recently changed hosting sites couldn't log in I'd lo I had my login details but they will not work so I have to contact the, the new hosting site and try and sort it out so that is on my to-do list so that's delayed so just one more, one more thing anyway I was um, spending time with my mum over the weekend for her birthday and had an experience that led me to think of something I did want to share and I guess it's something I've you know I've noticed on social media for probably you know I've been on there for 10 years or so with Facebook groups and um, yeah I think it's probably a, a good topic and please know I'm not coming at this from a point of criticism because goodness knows I'm not perfect um, and anyone who knows me will um, be sticking their hand up going yep 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 no 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 definitely not perfect um, so it's more just to sort of have a think about this sort of idea and um, yeah create discussion ideas that sort of thing um, and it's around when does venting become whinging for want of better words um, because venting in a supportive way with you know people we trust people we like can be a really good thing I'm sure we've all done it goodness knows I do it a lot um, because sometimes that you know we had a rough day or a bad situation when I get it off our chest and I know I feel a lot better um, when I do and sometimes if you're if I've got a problem and I'm not sure what to do if I, even just talking it through with my cat snowy she's fantastic it comes to me um, so that can be really positive and whether we do it in, in person or online um, you know there's multitudes of uh, Facebook groups or through YouTube communities where we can talk to people um, in that sort of way and support each other because there's nothing better than thinking you know for example um, with fibromyalgia one of the strange symptoms is a periodic just maddening itch everywhere and I had that for ages and didn't know if it was related to the illness or just something you know a, a separate skin condition and then you know had a look at the uh, Facebook groups heaps of people had the same issue and didn't solve it but at least I kind of felt a bit better that I wasn't going crazy and you know a few people had some suggestions for how to solve it they didn't actually um, you know actually one of them I think it's probably the, the sixth thing I tried um, yeah did did help and so that can be really useful and it can just you know maybe feel a, a little bit better um, so those sort of things can be really helpful and knowing you, you're not the only one that's going through something. Um, but the flip side of it, um, I've noticed when that sort of thing becomes extreme, it can become really, um, yeah, it's not good for us um, and not good for our mental health. And I've seen that over the years um, when people take a, what should be a good support service and use it I guess and this is just my perception in my opinion but use it as a you know difference between reasons and excuses and I think you know what I mean if you've seen this happening 
um, where people just go on and on and on about poor me, poor me, as if, goodness, you know, it's a competition to see who has the most pain or who takes the most medication or who has the most symptoms or sees the most specialists. And I've, I've seen that happen. And my goodness, that's not a competition. I want to win, right? Um, but I've seen it happen. And it's, I don't think it's healthy. And, you know, it's like these sorts of forums and outlets are great for the community and belonging and helping each other. But when they start to overtake our lives in terms of time and energy and mental output, that can become, you know, a, a, it goes to a real extreme and I don't think it's healthy. So it's something to think about because um, I've often been asked over the years, what's one of the things that's really contributed um, to my health improving? And the consistent thing has always been attitude. Um, now by that, I don't mean, oh, it's having a great day and I'm, I'm wonderful, you know, because that's not how it is, right? But it's being real and going, yeah, I've got these limitations. What am I going to do about it? You know, if you're familiar with the Serenity Creed, or you might know it as the Serenity Prayer. Grant me the courage to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. That has just really made things so clear. I think to me over the years and just kind of going right there are some things out of my control what am I going to do about it well maybe there's nothing I can do about it but there's th some things in my control and I can do something about that so but I see so many people just go on and on about the things they can't control and all it does is make them feel down and no one likes feeling out of control and down it brings other people down so I guess my, my thought is don't put yourself in that situation and being around these sort of people or groups. Um, it's not good for us. And don't let yourself fall into that. Because while venting and getting things out is really helpful, it's like anything, just always got to think of the balance and keeping yourself, um, your attitude where it needs to be. Um, and it was interesting, I had an interesting, and please don't think I'm perfect, um, if I haven't already said that. Um, my goodness, I'm not perfect at all. But this is just something I've noticed and it's something I just try and do and catch myself if I'm kind of falling into that. It's easy to fall into that victim mode and make it. Um, good phrase I, I always remember, um, so I have fibromyalgia, so it's, I have... Uh, I'm living a life with fibromyalgia, not of fibromyalgia. So it doesn't rule my life. It's just there and I just work around it. So I don't know if any of this is making sense. I hope it is. If you've been in this situation, take the bits that are useful, I think, as always. Um, but I was out and about with my mum. We are doing some early Christmas shopping and we're in a shop and... I think this ex, uh, this situation just kind of um, illustrated something to me and the the way different people handle things. Um, I was um, asking a the sales assistant for some help. I was looking for a handbag, right? And um, the I was I was quite tired. Um, we'd been out the day before, and she came up to me and put a hand on my shoulder, and I've got severe allodynia really hurts to touch I me mean, she used to a lot of pressure and I just instinctively go like that um I just kind of it's, it's a reflex when I'm in pain and it hurts and she saw me react and was like oh what have I done and I said oh no I'm sorry I didn't mean to do that no offense I've got chronic pain and that hurt um because people don't realize that level of touch really hurts me and she's like oh oh I quite understand I have pain myself and then she went on and on about the pain in her leg and told me the whole story without even asking me what sort of handbag I wanted. We hadn't even got that far about the pain in her leg 
and I was still, the pain lingers for a few minutes, sometimes like five or ten minutes after that sort of pressure. Um, and she's telling me about her leg. And uh, it was just the obliviousness, uh, if that's a word, of some people to other people. And so it's like, lady, I'm in pain here. I'm the customer. I do not care. I'm, I'm sorry you have a sore leg. But right now, I don't really care as much as you seem to, you know, I guess the, the point is we <laughs> forget that no one else cares as much about our own situation as probably we do. And she's thrusting this whole story about her leg onto me and forgetting that I'm still standing there in enormous pain. And it was just... <sighs> How often does that happen? You get these people who probably in less pain or severity of, you know, debilitation than you are. But, oh, poor me. Poor me. Oh, yes, I quite understand. I have this. I've experienced it a lot. And they think they're suffering. But those of us who really do have something, we, we don't tend to go on about it. It's just accept it and get on with it. And... That attitude, if I didn't have that attitude, I wouldn't be at uni right now. I wouldn't be doing this. Um, the more I think about the pain, the more I'm present to it and the worse it gets. So I don't like to think about, dwell on it. Um, only when I need, you know, only when it gets that bad. And so I just thought that was, yeah, that was, that was really interesting. So it's kind of... Um, using social media and support and things wisely and when you need to but knowing when to step back and get out of any toxicity or letting people like that pull you in to their little you know gripes because then it's not really shared venting is it they're not there for you you're just being there for them their audience if you need someone who's there for you too so, yeah, that's sort of my, just checking my notes. Yep, that's all I had, <laughs> two points. So have a, a wonderful day or um, week, hopefully um, feel good. And sorry, I'm a, a little bit tired um, because it's 11 o'clock here and it's been a really hot day in Australia here, the heat, it's starting to heat up and I don't have air conditioning yet in this room, hopefully getting it next week. So that should pick things up. I might do a, a video when I get air conditioning um, about um, that, because I get a huge heat sensitivity. So that's gonna be really fun, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, all right, I will see, hopefully see you soon. Thank you for listening. And as um, always, please hit subscribe and share and um, take care. You mean the world to me.